Welcome! In front of me I have Huawei Nova 10 SE and I'm gonna show you how to go through the setup process on this phone. Let's start by selecting the language we want to use on our phone. To do it, simply swipe right here, up and down on the screen to scroll through the list. Find the language you'd like to use and then tap on it to select it. Once you select the language, you can tap on the Get Started button to continue, but before that you can also tap on Emergency Call to call the emergency numbers if needed, and you can also tap on Reading Aid to access the settings for uh, features like magnification and font size if you need uh, to adjust them. And once you're done, uh, let's tap on the Get Started to continue. And now we need to select the region. And you can do it again by swiping up and down on the screen to scroll through the list, find the region you want to use, tap on it to select it, and then tap on next to continue. Here we need to agree to the terms of use. To do it, simply check the box and then tap on next. If you want to read them, you can tap on the details buttons right here to open them and read them completely. And now we can insert a SIM card into our phone to basically connect to the mobile network and to the um, provider if you want to. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna tap on skip, but if you want to insert the card, you can do it right now. And now we can connect to the Wi-Fi network, or rather we need to for some reason. Huawei is like that. I don't know why, but they require you to connect to the network for no reason. So I'm gonna select one, and tap right here, and enter the password. So give me a second. And after we enter the password, we can tap on the connect button right here to connect to the network. And after you're done connecting, once you're connected, you can tap on next to continue. Now we can tap on next. And here we can set up uh, some kind of protection for our phone, like a fingerprint ID, face recognition, or pin password or pattern. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, but if you want to set up one of these, you can simply tap on the option and follow the instructions on the screen. I'm just gonna go back and tap on skip because I don't need it. So I'm gonna tap skip right here. And right here we can basically log in into Huawei ID. So if you tap on next, it will ask you to log in into Huawei ID account. It will allow you to use uh, Huawei apps like App Gallery and stuff like that. So if you want to do it, simply log in or create a new account. I, I don't want to do it, so I'm gonna tap on uh, don't have an uh, Huawei ID. And here I have the option called maybe later to skip it. And I'm gonna tap on it, tap on uh, leave. And now we need to uh, select if you want to use the Huawei video service and Huawei book service. If you want to use them, check the boxes. If you don't care, you can simply tap on later uh, to skip this step. And here we can enable or disable some of the features for the HMS core. You have like uh, stuff like uh, add ID statistics, personalized ads and stuff like that. You can tap on them and enable them or disable them if you prefer to. So select the options or enable or disable the features you like and then tap on the next button to continue. And here we can uh, enable uh, enhanced services. Basically, if you want to do, do that, tap on enable all services. If you want to uh, select which services should be enabled, you can tap on setup enhanced services. And if you don't care, you can tap on no thanks to skip this. I'm gonna tap on setup enhanced services and here we can select which services should be enabled. And you have quite a list. So find the service you want to enable, tap on the checkbox next to it to check it, to enable it. And once you're done, you can go back. Oh, never mind. For some reason. Do I really need to tap on enable all services? Go back and no thanks. So I guess we just need to, yeah, we just need to go back. So once you enable these services or disable them, once you customize your settings, you need to tap on no thanks right here, I believe. Okay. And then you can tap on uh, join if you want to join the user experience program. I don't want to, so I'm gonna tap on later. And here we can uh, allow uh, the phone to share the analytics with Huawei. I'm just gonna tap on later to skip this. And right here we can enable the location services. So basically if you want to use your phone to, I know, uh, track maps or rather use the maps 
uh, to check your location and stuff like that you need to enable the location services if you don't care you can you can tap on later and keep it disabled and here tap on enable and continue and now we can import data from another device so if this device is brand new you can basically copy data from different device to this date uh, to this device if you want to uh, by tapping on one of the options like uh, move data from another device or you can also move them from the uh, huawei cloud backup i don't want to do it so i'm gonna tap on setup as new device but if you prefer to move the data you can do it right here and right here we can try the gestures basically the way you navigate your system so we can tap on try gestures and basically to go back is swipe from the edge and re release in the middle so it works on the both edges like this to open the uh, no to go to home screen you swipe from the bottom of the screen to to the middle and just swipe and to open the recent apps you swipe but hold for a second or two like this and then it's gonna open the recent uh, apps menu also you can uh, once you're done trying gestures, you can tap on finish to keep them enabled, but you can also tap on change navigation method to uh, use a free key navigation. Basically, you will have three buttons at the bottom of the screen uh, to navigate the system. So select the navigation type you like. And once you're done, tap on finish right here. Oh, my bad. Uh, after you're done selecting the navigation uh, method you will see this page right here basically we can install additional apps on our phone and you can do it by checking the boxes next to it next to the app basically you have the box you can check it or uncheck it and you can select the apps to install or not install i'm just gonna tap on select all deselect all to deselect them all because i don't need them but if you want you can browse through the list and install additional apps if you want to i'm gonna tap on next and once you're done with the additional apps, you should see the home screen of your phone. And this means that the setup process is complete. And that's how you go through the setup process on this phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.